Hell hath no fury like 30 scorned bachelor brides and an unforgiving TV audience. Nick Cummins is Australia's most hotly debated man this week after dumping all of his potential wives, then fleeing to a remote jungle. But we tracked him down, which made him an unhappy badger. G'day, Nick. Sorry to do this to you, but can we ask you a few questions about what the mess you've left back home? Sorry? Rode up with a cocktail in hand, the televised quest for love appears a distant memory to Nick Cummins. Did you ever really want to go on the show? And he's asking me. A current affair has found the honey badger at this luxurious resort in Papua New Guinea, and as you'll see, he's well and truly still living the bachelor lifestyle. His trademark, good humour and larrikin personality also appears to have vanished. That's all. A microphone. We've got a camera here. That's good. I have something I need to tell you. What? It's almost laughable. <laughs> what? This less than a week after Australia watched the sportsman break the hearts of two women who'd fallen head over heels in love with him. At this time, our journey comes to an end. I can't give 100% of me to you. A giant waste of time, that was. Devastating the girls, some clearly still distraught in recent interviews. I wouldn't know what to say if I saw it. Do you understand how uh, upset those girls are? You <laughs> know. <laughs> Now, we know it's just a reality show, but it's still infuriated the hordes of viewers who invested so much time into the series. I think he wasted everyone's time. Not a big fan at all anymore. There's going to be a lot of hills over there in Kokoda, so strengthen up those quads. You. I think before this show, Nick's reputation was on the up and up. James Weir is from News.com and wrote popular recaps of episodes from the series. To dump them with no emotion, to give no reason, and then to leave them front the media storm the next day, it just seemed a little bit gutless. And to be honest, I don't think he really knew what the show was about before he signed up. I really don't care. I think I just quit. Cummins had signed up to the 10 Network juggernaut for a weighty sum, supposedly to find the woman of his dreams. I came here for a chance of love, and now I'm, uh... have to start again. And boy, didn't he have plenty of options, close to 30 of them in fact, including beauties like Ashley, Rhiannon, Kat, Alyssa, Brittany, Deanna, Jamie Lee, Shannon, Dasha, Emily, Cass, another Brittany and Sophie. Whew, talk about spoiled for choice. But in the end, none were good enough for the former pro rugby union star. I was furious, like, like the rest of Australia. I mean, we didn't get the love that we wanted. Dee Dee Dunleavy from 3AW Radio followed every episode and was just as heartbroken as the girls at the lame duck finale. He started to look insincere towards the end of the series, I thought, and um, I thought that perhaps he was just going along with the producer's wishes. After briefly dipping his toes in the love game, the honey badger left the country when it all went spectacularly wrong. He came here to Papua New Guinea, where he walked the Kokoda track and spent some time at this luxury resort in Port Moresby. He's just walked away, so he's left everyone with this great big gaping hole and he, I think he does need to come and explain himself. G'day Nick. Sorry to do this to you, but can we ask you a few questions? A current affair observed Cummins hanging out at the bar. Here he is on the sun lounge by the pool, reading his phone. He jumps in, has a swim and chats with a female friend. It's no surprise the women he rejected are still feeling the pain of the breakups. Girls, some in their early 20s, putting everything on the line for Nick, even quitting their jobs for a chance at love. Remember though, we are talking about The Bachelor here, a TV show, but clearly the famously good-humoured honey badger is still a little sensitive about it all. Can we ask you a few questions about what the mess you've left back home? Sorry? From Channel 9, we just got a few questions about The Bachelor, if that's okay. Uh, mate, I'll, I'll get to that. I'm just trying to have a peaceful break. Anything to say to the girls? That's that's all we need? Leave it. Just... Just leave it. We've just asked you three times nicely, just leave it. Yeah. So don't ask again, because I know you're about to. OK. Leave it. We'll just get security and... Uh, 
I'm the mate that just don't hustle man, I'm just trying to have a bloody, I'm trying to chill out. I'm copping enough crap from people like you mate, so I just want to have to relax. Do you regret? Don't ask a question mate, we just asked you three times. It's going to be the last time I'm a f Oh my god! The Badger's protective mate is Sydney-based personal trainer James Brody. It's claimed Nick's Kokoda Track charity hike was planned months before filming on The Bachelor began, and it was a coincidence he was away when the finale aired. As for whether his reputation can survive this storm of controversy, PR queen Roxy Jasenko thinks it can. I think it's really impressive that he didn't just choose someone for the sake of it for TV. It's refreshing. I know as a, as a talent manager, I would have no problems putting him forward to brands um, that suit his lifestyle and, and, and what he's doing. G'day, Nick. After all, the bloke was just being honest. I can't give 100% of me to you. I think that feedback that's out there in the media at the moment saying, you know, we hate him, it is disappointing. I think the smarter feedback should be, well, you Correct. know what? The guy did the right thing. He wasn't in love with either. Yes, you know, he had a good time with the ladies over the period of shooting, but it wasn't right. And he wasn't just there to go, you know what, you'll do. Good point. Have a great holiday, Nick. It'll all blow over soon.